Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Need Biology Made Easy. In this video, I'm going to discuss on amino acids. As per the NEET syllabus, we have these many biomolecules, amino acids, proteins, carbohydrates, lipids and fatty acids, enzymes, nucleic acids, vitamins, etc. Out of these many biomolecules, in this video, I'm going to discuss on amino acids. So here uh, you can see the structure of amino acid. As we know that the valency of carbon is four. And if these four valencies are satisfied by four different uh, functional groups, then this particular carbon atom is considered as a chiral carbon. So here in this diagram, you can see that one valency of carbon is satisfied with amino group that is NH2. And another valency is satisfied with carboxyl group COOH which we also call as acid so that is why this is called amino acid as it bears both amino group and acid group and other two valencies are satisfied with hydrogen and one may be any functional group which is designated with R so for our own reference we can draw the structure of amino acid like this also so this is the structure of amino acid when it exists in its ionic form then let's discuss some fundamental things about amino acids so amino acids are the building blocks of protein and in human body there are approximately 20000 unique proteins exist although there are hundreds of amino acids found in nature but only about 20 amino acids are required to make all the proteins found in the human body and most other life forms so there are 20 uh, standard amino acids exist uh, as uh, and uh, you can find the names of all these 20 amino acids in your textbooks also but along with these 20 names i have added two more names and these are selenocysteine and pyrolysine selenocysteine is one of the analogs of cysteine which uh, bears selenium then pyrolysine is an analog of lysine which bears a pyrrole ring in its structure so selenocysteine is considered as the 21st amino acid and pyrrolysine is not found in human body in some of the methanogenic microorganisms it may be present then there are certain non-standard amino acids also exist and these are the amino acids that are chemically modified after they have been incorporated into a protein during post translational modification and they may all uh, occur in uh, living organisms but are not found in proteins so whenever protein is synthesized in our body it undergoes post translational modification and sometimes during this post translational modif modification the non standard amino acids actually synthesize and uh, i have given you some of the examples of, of uh, non-standard amino acids and these are ornithine citrulline and urea out of these three non-standard amino acids the structure of urea is important from exam point of view and the uh, chemical structure of urea is uh, really simple to memorize this is nh2co and then nh2 as shown in the figure then there are nine amino acids which are considered as essential amino acids out of the 20 known standard amino acids and these are considered as essential amino acids because they cannot be synthesized by the body uh, as a result of it they must come from food only so here uh, i have shown you the list of uh, um, essential amino acids but uh, in this list i have uh, also added arginine but uh, which is highlighted in red color and the reason is that 
this is histidine and uh, arginine these are considered as semi essential amino acids sometimes because uh, our body can uh, synthesize them uh, till the age of 40 and uh, after the age of 40 body cannot uh, synthesize histidine and arginine so these two amino acids are actually considered semi essential amino acids so but to memorize uh, the names of essential amino acid for entrance exam is a bit uh, difficult so that is why i have given some of the abbreviation for it uh, so here yeah, the first abbreviation is hmt then vip then tall tll so here i have highlighted uh, histidine and of course arginine because these two are semi essential amino acids and most of the time in entrance exams uh, questions are asked based on this concept then uh, one more important point to remember for entrance examination is zwitter ion so amino acid bears both positive and negative charge on the ends with net charge zero at a particular ph and this form of amino acid is called zutaionic form so here in the diagram you can see this is the structure of amino acid on your left hand side and whenever it exists in zutaionic form uh, it bears one positive and one negative uh, uh, charge on both the ends so it makes the net charge zero and the ph the particular ph at which it attains uh, its zutaionic form is called isoelectric point so based on these two definitions uh, some questions may be asked in the entrance exam and the isoelectric ph for different different amino acids is of course different then the next essential point uh, for neat exam is that uh, sometimes it is asked which is the simplest amino acid and that is glycine so here again as we have already discussed uh, what is chiral carbon when the four valencies of uh, carbon atom is satisfied by four different functional group then we can call it uh, chiral carbon on your right hand side here i have shown you the structure of glycine here you can see two valencies are satisfied with uh, hydrogen so this is not a chiral carbon so that is why uh, glycine is also known as a chiral amino acid because there is no chiral carbon in its structure and this is of course the smallest uh, amino acid then uh, we talk about lysine lysine uh, actually it has got uh, five chiral carbons here you can see the position of chiral carbons in its structure so this is the amino acid with highest number of chiral carbon then comes the largest amino acid the largest amino acid is tryptophan here on your right hand side you can see the structure of tryptophan and in this structure uh, you can see uh, it bears uh, the aromatic ring so this is actually one of the three aromatic amino acids which exist in our body so phenylalanine tyrosine and tryptophan these three amino acids are considered as aromatic amino acids because they bears aromatic rings in their chemical structure so these two points are really very important for neat exams then there are three basic amino acids also there arginine lysine and histidine and in neat exam you will find at least one question based on this concept also then we have two acidic amino acids aspartic acid and glutamic acid and uh, as uh, the aspartic acid the name itself suggests it is it, it, it is actually acidic uh, amino acid so uh, it's really easy to memorize these two names then we have neutral amino acids glycine alanine isoleucine and valine then most importantly in exam it may be also asked what is amino acid so here proline is considered as amino acid because if you see the chemical structure of proline here the amino group enters in the ring formation 
here the amino group actually uh, it enters this uh, enters the formation of a ring so that is why it is considered as amino acid instead of amino acid so so with this i believe i have sufficiently discussed uh, the topic and this video will definitely help you in your future and these are the references that i have uh, referred to make this video and uh, thank you friends for watching my video please like subscribe and share my videos and press the bell icon for regular updates